Hello everybody and welcome to Sexy Astrology for the month of December 2020. The month of limitlessness and does it really have to be that difficult? Yes, yeah, so the month of December is upon us and I, for one, am trying to be on time. If you'd like to make a donation to Sexy Astrology, I need the money. This month is always tight. Uh, you can go to sexyastrology.com or you can pick up my uh, other website, House of Chocolate one word dot com c h o c l e t dot com and you can pick it up there there's a paypal uh donation button you can denote donate securely through paypal Sagittarius is the third fire sign and with that it has does have tremendous ego like the other fire signs aries and leo but it truly has a deep, um, deeply embellished wisdom in its natural born character. Sagittarius rules other cultures, um, politics, um, higher education, higher learning, understanding of cultures, and mixing of cultures. Sagittarians, all of them I know, are quite androgynous. Even the women, the most feminine women, have like a zany androgynous freak in them. And they are truly the ultimate freedom fighters of the universe. They need to always, always make sure that everybody has enough space to breathe. And so this month we are truly celebrating with, you know, the big political changes afoot. And we are looking into the business of how the possibilities are indeed endless. Um, so with that, I wrote the month of being pressed for time. There may be an urgency going on. Oh my God, I have to do it now. And it's like, you know what? You have as much time as you need. Take your time. Reflecting back to the month of June, which was the month of the power share, we are now culminating in that business of sharing power. And true patriots, remember the word patriot has the word riot in it. And we need to, so we need to remember the rioters and we need to remember the protesters. This is, in a sense, the culmination of the freedom fighting energy that is out there in all its limitlessness. And it is the apex or the pinnacle or the summit of pulling together what all those ideals are in that great big mess of freedom fighters out there. What do we want? Now is the time to make the list higher black and brown businesses, please, as well as let's look at farming. Let's fix the picture of how we get and cultivate our food before we do too much damage. Let's fix the policing laws. These are all on my bucket list. Let's make sure that the racial profiling that has gone on in our country, especially the Americans in America, USA, that it goes away completely, that that is no longer an issue. And the people that do that should be punished, you know. Um, and let's call for more gun control. So like that. So anyway, whatever your fantasy is for how the political landscape needs to look right now in the month of December is the month to pull it together and make sure that government hears your voice and get the best writers out there to pull it together and lop it up into a giant big um, document. And your voice is heard. 
you know, I have to have the belief that my voice will somehow be heard, and I hope that you do too. Okay, so the other part of the power sharing patriot, the month of limitlessness, is that we have to understand, I am on death number 19, that death is a happy occasion. Somehow it has got to be understood that death and dying is not the end of what I'm Catholic, the soul or the spirit, and that we move on and we can help other earthbound people make good decisions because, you know, we want to celebrate life in the end. And so what if death was a happy occasion and we truly had nothing ever, nothing to worry about? What if that was the case in our quest for freedom? That is my question to you. Hopefully, this is the end of white supremacy, higher black and brown businesses, Black Lives Matter. Don't stop the pace. Keep up the pace. Let's have the continuity. Do not drop the ball. Amen. Here now, your horoscope. 